we have. Yesterday we had a, a, an enjoyment. Just one second. I want I want you to listen to this uh, uh, person, and then you can go. Uh, the the children are ready to go, but I don't want them to meet someone very quickly. Uh, yesterday uh, we, I was invited at ACMA. Uh, Arab uh, Christian Medical Association, and uh, uh, I was uh, intending to meet uh, people, but I never intended to meet whom I met. Uh, a dear brother from uh, uh, Lebanon, he's actually originally from Iraq, uh, Kurdish, uh, from Kurdistan, who became a born again believer there, and then uh, uh, was persecuted, he came to Lebanon. <coughs> Make a long story short, we've been praying for him all these years, and I never really met him in person, face to face, but. Uh, he started a Kurdish church in Lebanon, and then he came to the United States to do the same, start Kurdish churches and begin a Kurdish station. So please welcome Brother Azam. I have to take a couple of minutes to tell you about things, whether in Arabic, you don't speak Kurdish, just Arabic. I speak Kurdish. So at least he can use one of those things, and I'll try to say it for him if he wants to use it. Go ahead, Brother Azam. Yeah, good morning. This is Azad. I am from Iraq. Uh, uh, I was born in 1967 in Ferrari. I'm sorry, 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 I'm he planted a church in Burj Hamoud among the Kurdish and the Armenians. He used to sing in all three languages. Kurdish, Arabic, and Armenian. And there was a large Kurdish meeting. Approximately 80 people attended. I came as a uh, uh, refugee in 2009, uh, a religious uh, refugee. I've been here since 2009. I'm Bakhtum. I'm serving. I'm starting for the first time a uh, TV uh, ministry. For the first time, the Kurdish people are actually listening to the gospel in Kurdish and the, the hymns in Kurdish. وأنا أوم اليوم عشرات الآلاف بالمسح الأمريكا والكندا بيعرفوني. I'm confident that many thousands have already listened to my message. ولكن نحن نشوف على قنوات الفضائية حد الآن. We are visit we are a guest at the TV station so far. أنا قدمت على الأرامية على الحقيقة وهذا سجل برامج على قناة الفادي. I've been on different Arabic TV station, Christian TV station. لكن نحن هلا ماشي لتأسيس تلفزيون كردي. But we are in the process of beginning an actual Kurdish TV, uh, Christian TV station. There are 60 million Kurdish in the in the world. But probably there are not more than a thousand believers, Kurds. And in United States or uh, Canada, there is not a single Kurdish church. There is a large mosque, Kurdish mosque in Nashville. California, Alcon, also in the Jamia. And El Cajon also. We are moving, but we are not the first Christian Kurdish organization in the United States. So I started the first Christian Kurdish organization in the United States. We have a website, and we have a website. We named the organization by the name Kurdish for Christ Ministry. Kurdish for Christ Ministry. Also, the website is named Mesopotamia. The website is called Mesopotamia. The website. The Mesopotamia is a Greek word. And the Mesopotamia is a Greek word. What the translation means in the Arabic language means the land between the two rivers. 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 Between Dushna and Furat. Jannah al-Adam. Can you tell me where? 
that's where the Garden of Eden was. That's where close to where uh, the uh, Ark of uh, Noah landed. جنس البشري بدأ مرة ثانية انتشار جنس البشري من هذيك الجغرافيا. And the human uh, race began again from there. هالشعوب كان لهم دور في التاريخ. Those uh, people had a, a, a place in the in history. ولكن حسب كتاب بعض مجلد الإسلام لا هالشعوب لهم دور. But but uh, suddenly after Islam came, they uh, they were uh, masked. So this uh, new station I'm planning or hoping to, to, to start will be speaking in multiple languages, Chaldean, Armenian, and Arabic, and as well as Arabic. All through the presenting the, the Lord Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 4 verse 12 says there is no salvation except through Jesus for there is no other name given among men uh, under heaven by whom by which we can be saved. There's not a single other person in the world. Not by any other history. For this reason, the church is actually presenting the only hope, the only uh, uh, future for mankind is through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. If there was anybody else, uh, uh, if, if, as long as Jesus is there and we can present it, the church has to be awake. We thank God for this opportunity. Thank you. To whet our appetite because we're hoping to reinvite Brother Azad one day to tell us his testimony, how the Lord saved him, and how he began the things. Uh, little children, please go ahead, or those who'd like to follow, Sister uh, Amira, please go right ahead. And uh, I invite you to uh, uh, remember uh, that we have uh, Wednesdays still going on. And we invite you, those who are here, uh, to join us on Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. We are in the book of Ephesians. Somebody made a comment said, you're going too slow through this. And I said, indeed we are. So, folks, you haven't missed much because we're going at a snail pace, one word at a time. And that's how, how far we are. I'm glad to see that the internet is here because I know Brother uh, Ed uh, was away. But thank God Brother Mark has supplemented him today, Fridays. The morning meeting is a joy. Brothers, sisters, you need to come experience it for yourself. I cannot describe it more than just a joyful event. A, a date that has begun a change in the Arab world spiritual map. As a result, someone like Brother Azad came to know the Lord. You see, he came to the Lord 12 years ago. Guess what? 22 years ago, we began this day of prayer for the Arab world, the United States. Kurdish are included in that. And now we can say in all honesty, yesterday I was speaking with a dear brother from Iraq. Folks, things are happening very well in Iraq. You would say things are not too good in Iraq. Yesterday I heard otherwise. Not from only Brother Azad, but I spoke to a pastor, Joseph, Pastor Joseph, who is the pastor of the Alliance Church in downtown Baghdad. He told me tremendous things. I'll be sharing them at the day of prayer. And then other things, and in Kurdistan, and throughout the world, God is using the momentum that is launched through prayer to save people like never before among Muslims, among Arab people, and in this land as well. We need to persist and persevere. You're invited for this. If you believe in prayer, and if you believe that prayer can change nations, can change hearts, human hearts, this day is for you. Whether you can come here or you can organize with other groups like uh, uh, elsewhere and promote other people to, to be part of this. Uh, our speaker will be Pastor Michel Abbas, singer Brother Ayman and the others, but these are the main ones. Brother Ayman says his best, by the way. He is in the process of recording 49 segments to be aired on a secular largest TV station in the Middle East, the MTV station. And I want to tell you, 
this is unheard of that a secular TV station will allow a Christian program to be aired. Not only once, not twice, 49 segments times two because they're going to air a morning and evening and this is for free. If you ask Billy Graham how much does it cost you to air one segment on a secular TV, he probably replied to you, it cost me a fortune. This is 49 times 2. It's going to be aired from February 20 to April 8 in Lebanon as a result of prayers. Brother Ima says, tell the brothers and sisters, keep praying. God is opening doors like never before for the gospel in the Middle East. Special meetings in conjunction with the Tommy Day of Prayer will be held next front, next uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, will be held on that day before and after. But there's a preparation day for that day of prayer next Saturday. You all need it. We need every single one of you. Show up at 10 a.m. Come and be part of the momentum so we can assign something for you to do on that day. And uh, this coming Monday, as a matter of fact, in the office as well, there's Multinational Fellowship, which is a tremendous fellowship at 6.15. If you're free, I invite you to get to meet always new people. 